Yo, what is good, YouTube, and welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we're taking a first look at the brand new pink diamond Jason Richardson, as well as this diamond Willis Reed, who are the final two players in the path to All Star. Willis is the final diamond that you'll have to earn today, and then J Rich can be earned for completing the entire um, set. He is the end reward for the path to All Star. Both of these cards look pretty good on paper, and I'm at least intrigued to try them out at the very minimum. But before we hop into the video, if you haven't already, make sure you Excuse me, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Help me push towards the 20,000 subscriber mark on the channel. I upload every single day. Tons of consistent daily My Team content. Would really appreciate it if y'all do subscribe. Without further ado, let's hop right into it. Let's take a look at both of these cards, Willis Reed and Jason Richardson. Starting off with Willis Reed, who is 6'10 at the center spot, power forward, whatever. Probably going to play him at power forward, I think. Uh, hot spots from nearly everywhere, 89 speed, 83 three ball, 90 standing and driving duck, 94 interior, 85 lateral, 85 steel, 88 block. Finishing wise, he is really good looking, uh, very complete in terms of his finishing badges. Shooting badge wise, not bad either, and you can get every badge, so you can add agent three blinders limitless if you want. Uh, playmaking wise, same type of thing. He's got an 86 ball handle, already has some pretty good playmaking badges, could use speed booster, could use handles for days, and then defensively, he's also really good off anchor, brick wall, movable, and force post lock down pretty good defense he's got silver clamps which can be upgraded this card's actually a dog he's a great rebounder he's fast he's a great dunker great defender and a good shooter and his release i think is pretty good too this a brandon clark base at least the last couple years it's been really good assuming that it's good again this year in that same respect uh would be really really nice because he was really really good last year and if he's really really good again this year with the release um that he's a dog this card is absolutely elite at the uh, power forward spot if he has a good release kobe escape as well gives him an actual playmaking move that you can kind of go towards uh if you need something to work with so that's also nice honestly i'm looking at this card and i'm seeing a lot of positives if his release is as good as I think it might be, which would be amazing, um, then he's going to be really, really good in that aspect. He's super athletic, versatile defender. He put the ball on the floor pretty well. Like, kind of everything you ask for out of a power forward at this point in the year, I feel like he can do. Six foot ten is not bad size at all. If this release is smooth and fast, like I think it might be, you're legitimately looking at one of the very best power forwards in the game, bar none right now, out of this Diamond Miller Willis Reed. That is how good that card is and has the potential to be at the power forward or an even center spot, but really the power forward spot, especially. And that is really, really intriguing to me, just to start with. I think Willis Reed has the potential to be really, really darn good. Second of all, uh, Jason Richardson is the other player from today's drop. Obviously, he is the end reward pink diamond for completing all of these players and getting all of the Path to All-Star stuff. And like, meh, I guess, I don't know. 6'6", 6'11", wings, and hot spots everywhere. The thing is, Jason Richardson as a player is like... I don't know. I don't think anybody's insanely excited about a J. Rich card. Not saying he's bad, but there are so many good shooting guards already between Kobe, Pippen, Paul George, Oscar, not Oscar, Vince, uh, Dr. J, etc. I mean, there's there's a bunch of good shooting guards, and I think J. Rich fits in toward the back of that group. Um, I mean, statistically, he's unbelievable. Elite defender, insane slasher, really good shooter, and, and super athletic as well. Very complete badge-wise, coming with incredible finishing badges, but also really good shooting and playmaking badges, and defensively being really complete as well. You can add brick wall and fast feet. Really immovable enforcer is the only important badge that he's missing. Um... I would love to see a couple more defensive Hall of Fame badges, but overall, he looks good on the defensive end of the court. And overall, there's just not that much to complain about when you look at the stats and badges. He is insanely complete and insanely good, which is what you wanted. Now, the thing is, his release. I know his release is pretty good, but I don't think his SIGs, specifically his dribble animations, are all that great. I think that's going to be the main thing, in all honesty, that winds up holding this Jason Richardson card back, is simply the fact that his animations just aren't that great. He doesn't shot create at that elite of a level. And if he's not a primary ball handler, primary shot creator type of card, at the end of the day, it becomes a little bit tough to justify using him uh, over some of the best of the best shooting guards. At least I think that can be the case. I'm not saying he is going to be bad, but I I think at the shooting guard position that is as stacked as it already is with a lot of people already having their shooting guard position kind of set, uh, especially if you have Kobe, if you have Pippen, if you have Paul George or Dr. J, guys like that. Not saying Jay Rich is going to be bad. Great release movement wise, though, I just think it holds him back enough to where it's hard to justify him being like the best of the best right now at the uh, at the shooting guard position. Not saying he's going to be bad at all because I think he is borderline top five, um, but I just don't know if that's enough to really justify him playing on most people's teams now this is a card that will definitely make a lot of teams better but 
the best of the best squads he doesn't really in my opinion and i think that's a little bit of a disappointment because the comparable player last year to this would be the uh galaxy opal e jean leon that we got um and e was an absolute dog i mean he was so dang good not to say this jerich is bad but if this is our two-week event card or whatever that we're getting uh three-week event card i would like it to be somebody a little bit better not to say jerich is bad because again i think he's actually going to be very very good but i am intrigued to see how good the card really plays and if I'm a little low on him maybe because it's possible I am a little bit low on him but again like I said it's not the most exciting reward in the world to me personally but I think he has the potential to be a very very good free card still and Willis Reed is the best of all the players that dropped in this set out of the 15 path to all-star cards I think Willis Reed is kind of without a doubt the best one so that is another positive for sure that they actually dropped another really good card out of this promo at the same time and it's not just Jay Rich because that gives somebody this Willis Reed will play on a lot of squads he will I promise you he's really really darn good if his release is what I think it is he's going to be a monster regardless i think i'm gonna call the video there that is where we're gonna do it uh and i hope y'all did enjoy the video if you did make sure you hit that like button leave a comment and subscribe let me know if you're going for jay rich and let me know if you're excited for this weekend's all-star content as well and uh, yeah i'll be back with more 2k content very very soon i appreciate y'all peace